Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best iOS 14 home screen widgets that you can get on your device in 2021. Now, iOS 14 home screen widgets have been a big thing since iOS 14 has been released. Apple could have done a better job on them, make them interactive and all that, but still they kind of cool and a lot of them are really useful. So let's go ahead and let me show you guys some of the best ones that you can get on your device in 2021. Starting things off with a couple of them from Google, we have Gmail and Google. So with Gmail, you will get this widget, the medium one, the two by four, which allows you to search on your email, show your unread messages, or go ahead and quickly compose an email. Now they actually work so if I tap on it, it will take me to the compose page directly from here, which is of course really cool and very useful. So quickly want to check your inbox or start a new mail, you can do that from here, which is again very useful. Then we have one from Google. You have here the option to search. They offer a smaller one as well, which only has the search option. With this one, you will have the search option. Then you will have the voice search, the incognition mode, and also the land search. So if you tap on one of them, of course, it will take you to that section of, of course, the app. So here we can search using our voice on Google. Next up, we have a weather widget. In my opinion, this is the best weather widget that you can get for your iOS 14 device. It is called My Weather and it has a ton of different widgets offering you a ton of different information regarding the weather and the upcoming weather for your city. So here we have the weather forecast. We have there the weather for the next days as well. On the medium one, we have the weather forecast for the next six days. So you can see, of course, the highs and the lows and all that. Then we have another smaller one, which will show you all the different details regarding the weather for your current city or any city that you choose. So basically we'll have here the air quality, the humidity, the chances of rain and all that. Now you can change the city directly from here. 3D touch on any of these widgets, you go to edit widget and you will have here the option to go ahead and choose the location, of course, from the locations that you have set on the app or search from there. Next up, we have Dropbox. Now Dropbox is also one of the bigger apps that has released iOS 14 home screen widgets we have a few of them here it offers quite a lot so we have two smaller ones you can see those are identical but you can change the action that you perform from there now we have here the option to scan a document you tap right there and it takes you to dropbox from where you can go ahead and scan a document but you can change this action so you will have the option to add maybe like a few of these smaller widgets from dropbox and then go to edit widget and from here choose the action that you want to perform with that widget. You can see now it has changed to record audio. And then we have another one here that shows our, our recent files right here in folders. Of course, if you tap on there, it will take you to that folder or that file on Dropbox. And then we have also another medium one, which has four different actions, which you can use, of course, to quickly scan a document, upload a picture, record audio, or upload a file on Dropbox. Next up, we have Spotify also one of the bigger apps that offers ios 14 home screen widgets now we have two different widgets from this app we have the smaller one which shows you your latest playing song or your current playing song and then we have the media one which at the top will show you your latest or the song that you're currently playing and then it will show you the album arts of the four different like songs or albums that you have recently played nothing much here of course with the limitations of ios 14 it doesn't actually allow you to maybe like interact with it pause or skip to the next song but still kind of cool having a spotify widget on the home screen next up we have widget now i have featured widget a lot on my videos but it is worth it this is kind of different from the other widget apps it offers you all kinds of different widgets and what's cool is that it's not limited to the app or maybe the app devs upload uploading or creating new widgets you can find them on the community so here we have a few different ones with different informations regarding the device so if we jump into the app you will see here a bunch of different widgets that you can add to the home screen these are the ones that you can find on the app we have some that we have imported and you can tap on join community and this takes you to reddit to the community of widget where you can find all kinds of different widgets for your device now what's cool about this you find a widget that you like you can go ahead and add it to the device 
that you have of course go ahead and find a widget so let me find one here that we can add and show you guys how actually you can go ahead and add that on your device as well so here we have one if we want to add this one to our device just swipe or tap right there on the comments and you should find a link to a qr code of that widget now once you've found the link you go ahead and tap on of course import widget and just load that qr code that you have saved on the camera roll and then you will have it right here on your app the next one is photo widget of course you need to have an app that will offer you your photos on the home screen using widgets now apple offers one which is of course the default photos app of ios but you cannot actually control that it will just show you any pictures it wants with this app you can basically choose any picture that you want so you go ahead and create albums right here inside of albums you go ahead and add photos from here you add any photo you want from the camera roll and then of course on the home screen you can add the widget and just go ahead 3d touch on the widget go to edit widget and from here you can choose which album that you have within the app you want to show here and you have other options as well you can choose here the refresh rate so you can set it to five minutes for example every five minutes you will see the next photo and then you have the photo play random or in order so you can choose however you want it and then of course you will have only your favorite photos on the home screen of your device the next one is cpu x this app has recently been updated with ios 14 home screen widgets we have a few of them here which show you all kinds of different informations regarding your device so we have two smaller ones and two medium ones so these two are basically the same they will show you informations regarding your device like the model the username and of course the weight and the release date of your device lower here we have one that will show you your data consumption so basically you have wi-fi and you have data and you can see right there it will show you how much data you have used on your device you have the same with the smaller one right there at the top next one is sports alerts for every sports fan this is the widget to have on the home screen of your device it shows you the information you need to know regarding different sports and of course your favorite team you can have here different widgets right there at the top we have two smaller ones we have right there a favorite team and of course it will show you the latest result or the upcoming game of that team yeah we have another one it's the same here but i will just show you guys how to pick the team so you go ahead and go to edit widget and of course from the teams that you have favored within the app you can go ahead and choose and then show right here whichever team you want and it of course will show right there the result of that team then lower here we have the bigger one the 4x4 widget right here you can show all the results from different sports you choose any sport you want simply by 3d touching on it tap on edit widget and from here you can choose the league that you want to show here and then of course you will get the results right there which is really awesome and of course you don't need to search the internet or search any other app to show you the results of the latest games from your favorite team or league the next one is qr widget now this one is really interesting it allows you to have a qr code right there on the home screen of your ios 14 device well of course you can maybe like show a link to your social media accounts or stuff like that so you go into the app and just paste the url right here you can customize the background color of the widget and of course the foreground color as well then you will have this on the home screen of your device and someone can just scan that qr code and of course it will take them to the link that you have set within the app next up is wikipedia now wikipedia offers quite a lot of different widgets and has been one of the first bigger apps to basically update with ios 14 home screen widgets and i really like them we have here three different ones we have one that shows like the most read article or something like that we have this one that will show you latest pictures featured pictures and all that but i don't know why it's not updating currently and then we have on this date this one is really interesting and my favorite it shows you stuff that has happened on the same day of course in the years before so here it shows you like one of them and then you have the option to tap right there to go into the app and see the other events that has have happened on the same day years before and last but not least is countdown this is an app that allows you to add countdowns on the home screen of your ios 14 device you basically go into the app tap the plus button and maybe create here a countdown so let's say like to an event or a birthday or something like that and then once you go to the home screen you add the widget you just go ahead 3d touch 
on that widget, tap on edit widget and choose the countdown from the list of the countdowns that you have created within the app. Now the app is free and it allows you to create two different countdowns for free and then you will have to pay a premium subscription if you want to create more than two countdowns for the home screen of your iOS 14 device. So that is it for this video guys. These are some of the best iOS 14 home screen widgets that you can get on your device in 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're interested on downloading any of these widgets, make sure you go ahead and check out the pinned comment. You will find all the links there. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.